Stephon Diggs and a seventh rounder traded to the Bills for a first, a fifth, a sixth, and then a 2021 fourth rounder, I believe. Good trade, bad trade. I'm very torn about this one because I love Stephon Diggs and I love Adam Thielen. And I and I you know I love the whole concept of them being there. But obviously when you have two number ones and one guy thinks he's, you know, worth something and he's not getting the ball as much, like he, you know, in, in, in 2018, he had about 102 catches. His catches went down, like, significantly because, you know, I think Kirk Cousins was, you know, trying to, you know, spread the ball around a little bit. And I think they got into an altercation, too. Like They did, he, yeah. Know, it was, he, you know, between the offensive coordinator and running the football. Should we pass it more and all of that. Eventually, towards the end of the season, you know, it all figured out, but. He did pretty solid, even with having Adam Thielen there as you know somebody else, and I, and I feel like this this doesn't 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 necessarily benefit him as much as it's going to benefit Josh Allen, because Josh Allen we know he's a baller, like we know this man can play football, and yep. his only issue is obviously him throwing the football. So I feel like adding Diggs is going to help him out, you know, being better uh, with throwing the football and especially especially deep deep balls now like he doesn't have to go you know he heave one down to john brown all the time you know yeah. um i think stefan diggs is gonna be pretty pretty crucial crucial for the buffalo bills i think the buffalo bills will win the afc east that i'm calling it right you know now. at this point it may not be a bold prediction i don't know. I know i think they will yeah okay i think they will i don't i think new england's gonna finish third Ooh, behind new york yeah the jets gotcha. the jets yeah yeah, yeah i mean you nailed it when you said that this is a good move for Josh Allen, bad move for Stephon Diggs. I mean, Diggs is not going to benefit from this, I don't think. I mean, as far as maybe winning a Super Bowl, potentially. But if you look at Buffalo's talent, you look at Minnesota's talent, well, Buffalo lost in the wild card round. Minnesota beat the New Orleans Saints, went on to the divisional round. So I guess talent-wise, they might be right around the same. Uh and it just gets determined by free agency draft, how well they do in that case. But for Allen, at least for his, uh, he's young. He's, he's young. He is young, and you he know. needs he needs the help. He needs help. John Brown, Cole Beasley, those guys balled out. Yeah. Ask Stephon Diggs in there. Add in uh, a, a young tight end like Dawson Knox, Devin Singletary, Devin Singletary. At that point. You know, this offense is gonna, just going to keep on rolling. So, Stephon Diggs, maybe he's going to see a drop in production. You talked about 110 receptions. Maybe that's going to go down to 90, maybe 80. Because don't sleep on John Brown. I feel like right. he's going to steal a lot of those uh, targets away from him. Right. But as far as making the Bills' offense better so that they can get past the wild card round and into the divisional, maybe even the championship, mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's wishful thinking. I think this is good for, the, for that good. Bills' offense. I think it's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>